and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video. I have a new series that I'm doing. It's a collaboration with my friend Jessica who has a blog, Misadventures in Makeup, which I will have linked down below. So Jess and I were talking one day and we both realized that we have some of the same palettes and we both kind of create different looks during the palette, using the palettes, and we also decided that sometimes colors in a palette just get neglected. That you go to it, you have your go-to look, the colors that you like, and ones you may never touch or you've used once or whatever. So what we decided to do was challenge ourselves to use every single color in a palette within one week. So this is our palette challenge. So if you have any of the palettes that we're gonna use in this, and I think we're probably gonna do one a month, um, you know, feel free to take the challenge with us and share your creations with myself or Jessica. So I'm super, super excited and we're finally getting this kicked off. We've been talking about it for months. So what we decided to start with was both of us love this palette, but again, there's certain shapes that get neglected and this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I will have the retail value up here. So every day I'm gonna give a little blurb of what I'm wearing for the day. It's not gonna be a tutorial, but I will tell you what is where on my eye. And then if you have any questions or you want something like if you want a more in-depth tutorial, just leave your comment down below on the look that you want You know, me to go a little bit more in-depth to and I'll get back to you on it or maybe even record a tutorial on it. But this is kind of the first go-round of it, so we're just winging it and I hope it all works out great. So for Jessica's looks, click down in the down bar and click on her blog to see what creations she had. And again, please share your, your creations with us. So for the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, it looks like this if you're not familiar with it. Okay, and for today's look, I have Salted Caramel, which is this shade here. It's like a camel kind of brown, it's a light brown shade, all in the crease. Then I took this shade here, which is Strawberry Bon Bon, which is a matte bright pink shade, and I patted that all over the lid. Then I took this shade here, which is Black Forest Truffle, which is a, um, burgundy shade with some shimmer in it. It's got some sparkle in it. So let me get these shades kind of swatched for you so you can see kind of what I was working with there. Okay, so then what I did is I took Strawberry Bonbon bon again on like a fluffy brush and I did it right above the crease here, like a very small wispy kind of fluffy brush just to kind of transition because then I took this shade here which is white chocolate, it's just a matte cream shade and I put that um, right up here on the brow bone. Then I took this shimmery shade here, which is Champagne Truffle, and I just patted this right in the center of the eyelid just to give a little bit of shimmer because the Strawberry Bonbon is a matte color, and I just wanted a little bit more, you know, like kind of glow to the eye. And I also put that Champagne Truffle in the inner corner. And then I took, what shade is this? Triple Fudge, which is this deep, no, this one, this shade here, Triple Fudge, which is this deep, um, matte brown shade and I just kind of smudged that a little bit on the lower lash line. So I did use quite a bit of shades today on it but they all really complement each other and that's what I really like about this palette is the shades do all complement each other really well. So okay so here is today's look. I hope my lighting's okay. Just kind of want you guys to see what it looks like. Okay, so that was the first day's look. On the rest of my eye, I had used the Mica Beauty Cosmetics Eye Primer that I got in an Ipsy bag to prime. I also used the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. For my eyeliner, I used the Essence Gel Eyeliner in Midnight, and I did set it using Makeup Geek Corrupt because there is no black in that palette. They're just a deep brown. And mascara, I used CoverGirl's Lash what are you called, Full Lash Bloom. And I do have false eyelashes on and these are the Revlon Beyond Natural 91197 Precision Lashes. So that's what I had on today. So this is the first day's look and I will have second day's look coming right up. So. Okay guys, so this is day two of my Too Faced chocolate bar challenge. So I'm going to show you today's look. Today I used, let me just get my shades here. I used milk chocolate, which is this shade right here in the crease. 
I took this shade here, which is creme brulee, and kind of put it in the center of the eyelid. And then I took this shade here, which is gilded ganache. Yeah, gilded ganache. And I put that kind of in the outer and inner corner. And then um, I actually just took a dusting of this salted caramel and just put it a little bit like upper crease area. Um, white chocolate, white chocolate as my brow bone highlights and then I just put a little bit of this gilded ganache underneath so these are the main colors that I use this is the milk chocolate this is the creme brulee yeah creme brulee this is the gilded ganache and then this is the white chocolate so that's them right there show you guys again so the white chocolate gilded ganache creme brulee and milk chocolate there so this is today's look. It's a little bit different because I did the darker on the outer and the inner corner, so it gave it a little bit more of a smoky look. Other things that I used on my eye was I used this L'Oreal Silkissimi, Silkissime, I'm not sure how to say it, eyeliner in the shade Green Ivy, and I put that on the lower lash line as well. My upper lash line is lined in this Urban Decay Glide On Pencil in Perversion. And for my mascara today, I used the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So all the other details for the rest of my face will be listed down below under day two. So if you want to know what foundation, lipstick, anything like that, it will be down below. So let's zoom you guys in so you can have a better look at my eye. look I wanted to show that the palette isn't just a neutral palette because a lot of times people look at it and you just see a lot of brown tones so I wanted to show that you could do something different and I didn't use any brown um, the only thing I used was this triple front a little bit under the lower lash line but for the main look of the eye as I stood I stayed away from any of the brown tone colors so I used strawberry bonbon in the crease which is a matte pink shade next to it is candied violet which is this really beautiful purple color with some pink shimmer in it and I also used the champagne truffle which is a really beautiful um, it's like a pink white, like a very, very pale pink uh, highlight color. And these are them swatched right here for you. So you can see them. And I'll kind of go over how I used each of them. I took Strawberry Bonbon right here and I blended that out in the crease. And then I actually took uh, Candied Violet on a fluffy brush and applied it to my lid so it was a lighter application. It wasn't a heavy application of it. But then I also went in with like a flat shader brush and I applied that to the outer corner to deepen it up a little bit. And then I took this Champagne Truffle and I kind of patted that um, on the inner corner probably about two thirds of the way over to kind of and I, it was heaviest in the middle and then it got a little bit lighter as I pat it out towards the outer corner so it faded into that dark purple. So those were the three shades that I used and then I also used the Champagne Truffle um, mixed with this white chocolate a little bit because this is super shimmery. So when I first put it on the brow bone it was too shimmery for my liking so I did just add a little bit of the white chocolate over it to kind of tone down the shimmer. And like I said I took this triple fudge and I just smudged a little bit on the lower lash line mixed in with the Candied Violet. Violet. And just for a quick mention is my eyeliner is I use this Star Looks Gem Pencil in Ultra Orchid, which I had gotten in a boxy charm, I want to say. So this was just a um, purple shimmery color. And then I just tight lined with Jane Cosmetics, just a black eyeliner. So I just tight lined on the upper upper lash line, nothing on the lower lash line except for the little smudging underneath. So that's today's look. Um, everything else for my face will be listed down below as it has been for all of the looks. So let's zoom you guys in so you can get a close look at it. kind of a quick look to put together before I went out so it was really kind of basic and I'm kind of getting down to the wire and trying to make sure that I use all of the shades so this was a combination that I don't think I've ever used before but I really really enjoyed it so first I took this deep shade here this is semi-sweet it's a um, dark 
not deep brown, it's not as deep as this brown, but it is a deeper brown and it's matte. And I um, put that in the crease. I took this shade here, which is marzipan, and I put that all over the lid. And then I used this shade here, which is cherry cordial. It's a beautiful matte burgundy color. And put that on the outer corner and smudged it under the lower lash line. And then um, I used white chocolate, which is what I have been using as my brow bone. So these are the three shades here. And I really like the way that they pair together. We have, this is semi-sweet, this is marzipan, and this is cherry cordial. And those are the swatches there for you. So they're really, really beautiful, and I was really happy with the way that this came out. It was just kind of a quick look, but I'm pretty pleased with it, if you couldn't tell by all the the raving I've been doing. The rest of me is just kind of a quick face. Again, everything will be listed down below, so let's zoom you in to take a look at this look. Take a look at this look, so let's zoom you in to take a closer look. shades I had to use in the palette were these two right here and they are hazelnut here and hot chocolate there. So I did a look using both of them today which would be my final look and then I'm kind of gonna think about the palette, do some swatches for it and give you my final thoughts which I will film tomorrow but it'll all be in this final video. So what I did today is I took salted caramel, this shade here, and I have that all over, um, I mean in my crease, sorry. And then I took this shade here, Hazelnut, that's that shade, and I put that all over the lid. And then I took the final shade here, which is Haute Chocolate, and I put that on the outer corner. And then I had um, White Chocolate here, which I've been using all week as my brow bone highlight. So there they are there. Now one thing I noticed is actually in the palette these two shades look very similar to each other. They may not be picking up like that on camera. And to me this one, Haute Chocolate, looks darker. And when I swatch them, and I'm just going to kind of re-swatch them here for you, they do look very similar. However, when I finger swatch them on here, this first one is hazelnut, which is actually deeper, and hot chocolate is actually a little bit more copper tone to it. Um, it's a little bit more bronzier as opposed to browner. I just want kind of, I hope you guys are picking that up, but there is a difference to them, and in retrospect, I should have flipped it, and I should have done um, hot chocolate on the lid and hazelnut on the outer corner, but because this one looked darker in the pan is I did it the reversed way. So I am happy with the way that it came up, just a bronzy brown look today. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can get a closer look. look was the final look I'm doing with this palette and at this point I've used every color in here but I wanted to do something that actually I've done before and I tried to stay away from it during this challenge because it's one that I've done before and I was trying to push myself outside the limits. So I took this shade here which is creme brulee which is the beautiful gold color and in the outer corner I put this shade here which is cherry cordial and I just love the way that they pair together. So I have these two and then I have, what shade are you? I want to say milk chocolate. Yeah, this shade up here, milk chocolate in the crease. So that's the pairing that I have today, which is going to be my final look. So I want to show you guys. I'll zoom you guys in real quick, and then we'll do some final thoughts. This palette. So this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette we've been using for the week and it retails on Sephora.com, Ulta.com, in stores for $49. So in here you're getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16 shades and you have two of a larger size which I very much agree with white chocolate being a larger size because I think I pretty much use this shade every single day for a brow bone. The champagne truffle I could go either way with my dog's getting up, she's laying behind me. Um, I could go either way with Champagne Truffle. I could see the use in it, and I can see it almost as like a topper color, an overlay color, which I did use at one point or a couple times, like on the shade, on the lid, over another color. But with that, I mean, for me, that could have been 
a smaller pan with another shade in there but again that's preference someone might use this all the time for a brow bone highlight and that's what works for them I do just want to apologize for my lighting I don't have my normal lighting so I'm, I'm coming off a little pink in the camera so I hope that that's working out for you would I recommend this absolutely I think this is a fantastic palette I think the quality of the shadows are amazing in here it is overall neutral with some pops of color and I do really like that I like the pops of color that you have this cranberry color is absolutely my favorite cherry cordial I love that especially this time of year but you do have this pink and purple which make it almost a, um, a year-round type of palette you're not just limited to fall it is an awesome fall and winter palette but with things like that and just the neutral tones in general is you're not limited to just fall winter you can bring this into spring and summer with it I do have a complaint about these two shades here which are super duper similar as I showed you in the swatches for yesterday is that they do come across pretty similar in the pan on finger swatches when they are laid out they're a little bit different but for me they could have done something a lot more different um to kind of balance it out I love the dark matte brown in here I also really enjoy that for me I get three transition shades in here I use the salted caramel I use semi-sweet and I use milk chocolate all as transition shades and I like that they give me almost three different tones where this is going to give me a bit of a warmer this is a bit more neutral and then this is a bit more cooler or darker when it comes to a transition shade so I do really like that I was super excited with this challenge I love that it pushed me outside of my comfort zone with it because I don't think I've ever used strawberry bonbon or candied violet because they kind of intimidated me but I love the way that I use them and I'm actually a big fan of strawberry bonbon now this was a color when I looked at the palette and I was like I don't know how to use that but I was able to use this as a lid shade and also even like a crease or upper crease transition shade which I really really liked so all in all my thoughts are I do absolutely love it I encourage you that you know you do things like this as well push yourself outside of your comfort zone to use different shades that you normally would not use in the palette and see what else you can come up with so that is my palette challenge for the Too Faced chocolate bar I will have um, misadventures in makeup which is my friend Jessica I will have her blog linked down below so that you can check out what looks she came up with because I'm sure they were different from mine because we um, tend to go different ways with palettes and, and our looks and stuff so check out her below her link below to get different looks different creative ideas and then leave me comments what are your favorite colors in this palette what way do you like to use it I also thought too that the champagne truffle you can actually use as a face highlight I don't think I did at any point but you totally could do that so I just want to throw that out there Okay, so that's it for the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette Challenge. Give me a thumbs up if you like this idea. There will be more to come. Um, we're not going to do them all the time, but we do have a couple more palettes lined up that we want to challenge ourselves with. So give me a thumbs up if you like that idea. Again, check out Jess's link down below, Misadventures in Makeup, and that will be down there. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!